a fax came in. I had a party a couple of weeks ago, and Scott was the DJ. Yeah. Scott the engineer. <laughs> he did an okay job, except for one moment when the song ended, he wasn't around to play the next song. Uh oh. We stood around for a few minutes, then I went to look for him, and there he was smoking away outside. <laughs> I went up to him and said, What are you doing? And he looked at me like I was crazy. He then ran in and said something about Howard Stern and played the next song. Can you ask him what he meant when he mentioned your name? Yeah, how does your name come up when he's out on a gig that has nothing to do with this program? P.S. How is it you don't cheat on your wife? How do you hold out? You're the man. <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, you are cheating. No, I'm not the man. No, the man would be cheating. Hey, Scott. Do yeah. you remember this incident? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. I wasn't listening. Oh. It never happens that you, or has it happened so often you can't tell which uh, gig I don't know what was? he saw. No, he wasn't listening to the oh. show. Oh, he was back working. Or smoking, I think. No. <laughs> Maybe smoking. What, were you at a gig the other night, this guy says, and you, yeah. uh, the record ran out and they caught you in the parking lot smoking? Whoops. <laughs> and you came running back in and mentioned Howard Stern? No. Never it didn't happened. happen. Never no. happened. Never happened. <laughs> you swear on your child. Yes. <laughs> what, time did, what time did you go to bed last night? About 8.30. Your eyes are all bloodshot and they're watering. Really? It could be an allergy. It's the smoke allergy. Oh, my God. Because he has a smoke den Allergies. back there. Allergies. Man, look at that. I'm allergic to air. <laughs> yeah, clean air. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Music the way you like it. <laughs> Unless I have a nicotine fit. <laughs> Do you still have that message on your uh, machine? Music the way you like it? Yeah. Can I call it? you got to hear this message Scott has for his business. Scott decided a couple of years ago he wanted to go into a side business because he didn't make enough money here, and they were always threatening to fire him. Are you happy you did this? Oh, sure. Good. Look, sure. What's with your voice, man? Is that a radio voice you put on, or is that your voice? That's my voice. It's a monotone. I, I'm mind. very monotone. In, yeah, yeah. Early in the morning, that's what it is. He doesn't move his mouth when he talks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, he, you know, he wasn't making enough money here. Because he's like a union guy. And they were always threatening to fire him until he became, um, aren't you safe now? They don't threaten to fire me. Oh, well, they tell me they're going to fire you, and then oh, I have okay. to go in and fight oh, for you. Oh, the threats never got to Scott. No, I kept it away from him. <laughs> I said, maybe it'd be best if you didn't tell Scott you were going to fire him. No, they're always... not nervous enough. No, because in the union, it doesn't matter how good you are. If you're a low man on the totem pole, they have to blow you you're out first. One. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but now you're now... safe, right? No, I'm never safe. Oh, really? I'm still low man on the totem pole. Are oh, you really? they've never hired anyone since you? No. I thought that after you're in the union for a while... I'm still a low man on the totem pole. Yeah, but the union protects your job, doesn't it? No. No? To a certain degree. Why are, why are all the engineers, all the other engineers protected? There's only because two. Because Scott. Oh. <laughs> There's only two. Oh, I see. They have to fire you first and then fire them. Yeah. They can't fire them. Why can't they fire them and why can they fire you? They're guaranteed. What does that mean? I hate when Scott talks there's because two, his voice is so monotone. You talk like a normal human being. There's two guaranteed positions. In the union. Right. Okay. So the... Why two, not three? That's, that was what was agreed upon. I see. Good agreement. Yeah. We tried for three. Right. They wouldn't go for it. Oh, so there's always two, and, and no matter how good you do, and if the other two, like, go out and screw up royally, right. they have to fire you. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> I love so unions. This is a wonderful country to live in. Knock down the transmitter. Scott will be fired. Can you imagine That's running right. a business in America where you can't fire a guy? Who, the person who's causing you a problem. Right. You can't. I mean, you have you have no say over it. <laughs> That's amazing to me. That's the way it is. That's why unions uh, have gone down over the uh, last yeah. ten years. Oh, 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 that's why uh, unions have uh, uh, gone <laughs> down over the uh, <laughs> last uh, <laughs> ten years. In my considered opinion, <laughs> if I may say so, I could go on McNeil forever. <laughs> Call you... me for cross fire. <laughs> <laughs> Cross fire. I could do a show. Cross on, fire. I could do a show on C and B C. <laughs> so Scott. Yeah. What you're saying is that your job is vulnerable still. Oh sure. Okay. That's I think everybody's is. So anyway, so Scott decided a couple of years ago that uh, he wanted to start the side business. He needed something to fall back on. Yeah. So like he was going around moaning. I mean, pissing and moaning. Every day, like, I gotta get some money to start a disco business. I can only afford a half a pack of cigarettes. 
Yeah, he always had money for cigarettes. Never have I seen him without a cigarette. Yeah, right. But he was just like, I'd like to start my own disco business. I'm looking for partners. That wasn't even actually the way it was. Sure, it was. What no, was what was what's what your was recollection? The way it was. Oh, we could play the. the what is your the recollection? <laughs> my recollection I'm is. Your opinion. What happened? <laughs> my educated opinion. <laughs> what did you think happened? What do you recall? <laughs> what I recall is. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I had told you that I was going to do some extra work as a DJ, <laughs> and you said, "Why are you going to do?" And you said, "Why are you going to do that?" <laughs> I might as well do it myself. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Stop doing that. Yeah, yeah. No, he was going out and he was spinning records as Scott the Engineer. On his head. Yeah, but he was going out and working for other people. And so he wasn't getting the full cut. He yeah. was having to split the money so, with someone else. Yeah, so you said, why don't you go into your own business? I, I said, I don't have the money to buy all the equipment and everything. And you right. said, well, if we'll all chip in. What is it, if, Gary? I have another Scott the Engineer story. Oh, okay. What's the, what's the story? He, uh... Sorry about the script, but uh, I, I'm telling this one because John Stutter will just take too long. Yeah, oh, he John, did. He yeah. did. Scott. Uh, Scott did John's girlfriend's parents' wedding. All right, right. stuttering John's girlfriend's parents' wedding. Yeah, right. right go ahead. They, you, you know, so uh, they got like a remarried or something. Right, they got right. remarried. So the father was saying there was only one song that was really important. He wanted to play it for his father. It was the most important thing. I guess I told Scott like a million times. And Scott forgot the song. <laughs> so the groom had to go home and like get the record out of his own collection. And, like, oh, really? Miss time at the Do you wedding. remember that, Scott? It's not that I forgot it. They knew uh, that I couldn't find it. Oh. I couldn't find the song. It was an Elvis song. It was. Uh, they knew that? Because John seemed to be under the impression that they, knew, they, they knew you'd have it. I, what was and it song? wasn't there. It wasn't, I don't remember. A slight misunderstanding. I don't remember the song. <laughs> a miscalculation. He still doesn't remember the song. <laughs> he still he blocked it out. Yeah. It was something, you ain't nothing but a, a hound. A, a hound cat, call. I think. Uh, it, was, it was an obvious song, I remember, but I don't remember the name of it. But Scotty assured them he'd have it. <laughs> I will have it. I don't have it. <laughs> Can I go out and have a cigarette? <laughs> I'll go smoke. I mean, why wouldn't you tell them, if they had the song and they knew you weren't going to bring it, why wouldn't they bring it before they got to the yeah, wedding? Tell them to bring it. Instead of having to leave in the middle, Scott. <laughs> Look at Scott. He's like a kid. Getting... <laughs> I don't recall the situation. He's like a kid who didn't do his homework. It was a number of years cool. ago. You know, right. it was so not funny when it was me yesterday. Just yeah. looking at Scott now. No, no. It was it's so funny. funny. <laughs> <laughs> Scott's funny. Like, he can't even make up an excuse no. to you. He just like looks at you and he's like... He's like a congressman. I, yeah. I have no recollection. I, really, yeah. I have no recollection <laughs> I can, of that. I cannot confirm or deny. <laughs> I plead no low contingent. <laughs> I take the fifth on that. So now I'm beginning to believe that other letter was true, too. Oh, who knows? He Is doesn't the remember. <laughs> <laughs> so... I believe that they believe. So me, that they Robin. Knew I didn't have the song. Who were the original partners? Me, Robin, Fred, Fred Gary, Gary, and Jackie. And Jackie. Jackie. Yes. Right. We all said, hey, let's all chip in 500 bucks a piece. And we told Scott sure. that... That was uh, a lot of money, yeah. 500 bucks a piece. Yeah, we chipped in so Scott could buy his stupid equipment. Yeah. And uh, we financed, we seed money. <laughs> right. And we told him, okay, when you make some profits, you'll distribute the profits between your partners. Mm -hmm. So he was, okay. <laughs> so, I don't know, for like a year, Scott we kept saying he didn't have any profits. profits. No never problem. any problem. To this day, he's still in the red. That's right. Yeah. You never make gotta any get, money. Got to get new machines, <laughs> new records. Oh, always putting money back into of the Of course. Business. I had to get always a smoking jacket <laughs> for appearances. <laughs> I have a smoking jacket. <laughs> Says Cumble Rocket Buns. Entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> you were all paid back. You know that. So anyway, so finally Scott paid us all back. <laughs> yes. And then we told, we gave him his freedom. We said, you know what, Scott? You don't have to give we us any of the profits. We broke up the corporation. Yeah. Quintus <laughs> Salem. <laughs> I'm not, you mean I don't have to pay you? And you know, you thought Scott would say, no, 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 I insist. He was just like, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> See, I'm so glad you didn't ask for anything in return. <laughs> <laughs> and he's been so grateful ever since. So he started up the big disco business, and uh, he's, of course, gone into advertising. When you call his number, <laughs> you get a very spiffy... Didn't you hire someone to actually make the message for you, or is it just no, you? No, it's message? him. It's just self-produced. Oh, right. I thought... Yeah, I see. If you want, I don't know. I think that he's Scott's got a newer one on, but Captain Jax is on the phone. He's got the original message. That's oh, the he one does? Where Scott slows his voice down yeah. to sound oh, really deep. So it's oh, deeper. Oh, yeah. I, I don't even have that one. Uh, Captain, Anymore. can you play that? 
Yeah, it's good morning. Yeah, you see, Captain Smart, you know, most of us don't think to save Scott the Engineer's recorded messages. Who would ever dream? Oh, I have, I have a message, that he, something that he said to me after the message beep, and he yelled at me. Oh, yeah, we should do that one. But first play the message where he goes, music the way. You want you, it. You want it. <laughs> this is Rocket Entertainment. The only place that gets the music the way you want it. No one's available to take your call right now, so at the sound of the tone, please leave your name, phone number with area code, and any brief message you care to leave. Someone will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for calling Rocket Entertainment. Music, 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 the way you want it. He slowed down the tape so no one would recognize his voice. But the yeah. only tip-off, and the only tip-off is the... <laughs> yeah, music, <laughs> the way you want it. Thanks, you, you want Hello, it. I, I can't hear you. You... S- you can't hear us? No. Not that well. Hmm. Okay, now I can. <laughs> no. We didn't say anything. Your ears just came back on. So, uh... He, sl- he slowed that down even more than it was slowed down. Did he? Oh, sure. Oh, Scott. Oh, sure. Oh. <laughs> Rocket <laughs> Entertainment. Rocket <laughs> Entertainment. So, anyway, Scott deepened his voice, you know, slowed it down so that his voice would sound deep. No one would recognize it. <laughs> And then what happened, Captain Jakes? You started calling his message? Yeah, so what I did was I kept calling him. You know that that song from the 70s, Billy, Don't Be a Hero? Yeah. Well, I kept playing it into his answer machine oh, like 50 right. times. And he got pissed off at you. Oh, finally he got angry and he just came on and yelled at me. And he started yelling at you. Thank you for making the 50th call. We now have your phone number and the police and the phone company will be informed <laughs> and you will be traced and you will be arrested. <laughs> Thank you very much for calling. Have a nice day. Ooh. Ooh. He said a bad word, Howard. So, so he, he left a recorded message that you would get. <laughs> the police have been informed. The police are tracing Thank your call. <laughs> Thank you for making the 50th call. The police, the FBI, your you know, mother, the, everyone. Guys who make called. phony phone calls live to <laughs> oh, hear you do that. <laughs> they live to hear you of do course. it. So if who you know that, why'd you do it? Who'd you think was going to believe that you had the police and everybody on the case? You know, there are people who are murdered and you can't get the police to show up. You never know. I have to tell you, Scott, as a phony phone caller myself, you are definitely a target. Okay. <laughs> Go for it. Thank you for making the 50th call. We now have your phone number and the police and the phone company will be informed <laughs> and you will be traced and you will be arrested. You'll be traced. Thank you very much for calling. <laughs> have a nice <laughs> day. You will be traced. You'll that's be traced. A, that's on my CD, You'll Howard. Be arrested. You will be traced. <laughs> You'll be arrested. <laughs> All right, thank you, Captain Jenks. All right, Captain Jenks, everyone. So there it is, the full story of Scott. <laughs> Scott the engineer. So what? What's what the uh, thing now? And see what he sounds like now. Oh, you got a new one. It's, yeah. You haven't slowed yourself down. Now it's just. The, yeah, I think everyone's wise to that and trick. Regular, adulterated Scott. Straight voice. With a lot of. I wonder what music he's there. using now. Yeah, I don't think everybody he's dance. No, <laughs> no music. Oh, he doesn't want anything to obscure his delivery. I'm a very serious businessman. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hope I dialed that right. I don't That's think the seven one eight number, right? Oh, there you go. Seven one eight bag fifty forty. There you go. Music the way you <laughs> like, like it. Hi, this is Rocket Entertainment. No one's available right now, so please leave your name and phone number with area code, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for calling Rocket Entertainment. Music the way you want it. Oh, oh. You want it. Music the way you want it. So you forced yourself to really get your voice up. Yeah. 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 Mr. Excitement. I, I sound peppy. I forced myself. I try to sound and peppy. <laughs> I try to sound happy. And Pepe, uh, have a little joie to I leave. Was, <laughs> I was tired for the rest of the day after that. Did you that. look really wasted, man. What time did you go to bed last night? I told you about eight o'clock. Oh, man, something like that. You look really bad. It was a heavy smoking day yesterday. <laughs> it wore me out. <laughs> <laughs> All I, that lighting and stubbing out. <laughs> <laughs> I went through five <laughs> packs. Just opening the cellophane is enough to wear a guy out. <laughs> Do you know how much it takes to keep tapping that cigarette to get the ashes oh, off? Tap it down. <laughs> exhaust me. The smoke exhausts me. <laughs> Blowing smoke rings is hard work. <laughs> Do you blow smoke rings? No. When you? No? No. He just, doesn't have time to play with no. the smoke. You don't even want to look cool. You're just a serious smoker. <laughs> he just wants to get that nicotine Very in. Very serious. Yes. I just like to smoke. I don't need to play games. <laughs> Smoking is very serious. I him. take my smoking seriously. <laughs> 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 
smoking the way I want it. I take the smoke straight in. Can you do a French curl? Blow it no. straight out. I don't play games with my smoke. Really? Play You're... games. <laughs> you can't do a French curl? No. I do power hits. Give me power. <laughs> yeah, where you, you blow the smoke out of your mouth and you pull it in through your nose? No. I never do that. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that would be stupid. <laughs> it's not the way. <laughs> you can't like quit it. smoking at this point. You haven't had enough cigarettes. I think I've had enough. You're like such a baby. <laughs> <laughs> he hates his life so baby, much. Because he's trying to you get are because you, you, you hate your life so. You know, at this point, he's not trying to look cool. I know no. that. No. Not at all. Are you so uncomfortable in social situations that you have to have a cigarette? No. Social. He's sitting there by himself, smoking like a fiend. And do you ever exercise or do anything physical? Uh, <laughs> he, go, he walks to the corner to get more. Because like, I'm looking at Scott's arms and shoulders and stuff, and they're and they're atrophying. Yeah, I'm out of shape. Yeah, you really are. Oh, yeah. Take off your shirt. No. Let me Come see on. what you look like with your shirt on. He's the blob. No. Come on. No. He look. He's, he looks like he smokes. I and you look. Like and you I look smoke. like. I don't think you could run a whole block. All he needs at this point is a head and lungs. Right. <laughs> so the, the and a hand, hand so he can get the cigarette up there. <laughs> That's it. I can't wait to visit Scott in the hospital when they put the blowhole in and he's got the, he's picking up that piece of I meat. I can see him every time we talk about this. I think about that guy I told you about right, who enough. had the tube that went to, because everything was wasted. Nothing worked right. on him anymore. And he had a tube that Ooh, went ah. to this little cigarette holder. Right. Little plastic tube. And he could still suck in the smoke by putting the finger over the hole. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when we go visit him in the hospital, we'll be like, oh, Scott. He looked like Commander Pike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Commander Pike, we are going to your planet again, and, uh, and Star Trek Federation demands that you turn around. Will you turn around? Will you give Spock the order to turn around? <laughs> Working well. Oh boy, we need new batteries. Wait, I can fix it. I need a cigarette. Ah, there, there you, you go. go. Commander Pike. Don't upset him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, he's getting upset. Was, Scott, do you want another cigarette? <laughs> he's shaking his head. Yeah. <laughs> I say we're only a year away from that. I don't think we're far. What is it, uh, Gorilla? I was going to say, like, sometimes I've, I've, I've worked with Scotty before, and, like, he like brings a tuxedo with him. Yeah. Sometimes he doesn't even go into the bathroom to change. He'll look around, see if no one's there, and he'll change like right behind like his little DJ booth. Hey, yeah, and you've seen so, him naked? Not well, naked, Superman. but he had a shirt off and it was like, whew. <laughs> 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 okay. He's really out of shape, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Because he eats, he eats like a really unhealthy lunch every day. <laughs> oh, his arms sag like an old lady. Yeah. What do you eat for lunch? What do you you order Chinese food and what else do you well, have? Wait, wait, Cigarettes. for breakfast every day he has a toasted uh, onion Cigarette. bagel with cream cheese. Just oh, late, really? Just lately. I was eating cereal for a long time. Yeah, he time. was doing good for a while. He lost weight. Yeah. And, and then he just gave up again. <laughs> and what, And then, uh, I wonder why. And then, uh... <laughs> <laughs> when did you notice? <laughs> <laughs> a couple of weeks ago he gave up. And what about, uh... <laughs> <laughs> what about lunch? I always used to see them with big bowls of spaghetti. And, uh, I used to see a van, you know, would just back up yeah, and back up. crates of food I don't head e down I don't to the engineering much. room. Now, now that I'm full, I'll smoke. <laughs> <laughs> I eat toast and cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> How many cigarettes have you had so far today? I don't know. 16. Should I get his ashtray? Yeah, go get his ashtray. Yeah, we count. I don't even know. Because he empties it every night. Yeah, but go through the trash out. can and everything with Scott. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it was a tough morning. <laughs> I don't usually smoke this much. Uh, I was suffering from allergies, so I had to smoke more. <laughs> Smoking helps me to forget. It it's kills the power. How many has he got in there? <laughs> Three. Three. Did you Three look in the trash can? Yeah, but how many did you throw out? I don't know. What There's about in the, couple. the car ride this morning? Uh, probably about 15. <laughs> no, come on. How many cigarettes do you figure you smoked already today? Be honest. Ten? You smoke 10 cigarettes. Mm, may, not more than that. Yeah. More than 10? 10. 10 already. I and stopped before and, I and wake here up. In, young. And here in New York, it's quarter to <laughs> seven in the morning. He's so addicted. Oh, Scott. I'm very addicted. Do you ever, at any point during the day, get tired of smoke? Never. <laughs> <laughs> I even I smoke when so. I nap. <laughs> I set the alarm clock early so I can wake up and have a cigarette. There's one always lit. I'm always smoking an hour before I wake up. 
I have a special tube I can start smoking while I'm sleeping. Because yeah, <laughs> even safe. when I was a smoker, at some point I'd say, "Ugh, I'm right. just sick yeah. of this." Like I'd be walking outside sometimes when I was on my way to classes when I was in college, and I'd be, I like, I was like forcing myself to light up. I just yeah. needed that cigarette. And I said, "You know, it's a beautiful day. I don't even smell the air. I'm busy smoking, right. and it's windy, and I can't even see the smoke coming out of my mouth. And I'm, sm- <laughs> I'm really addicted. And I used to get disgusted. Yeah. I want to throw out my pack." He never gets like that. And you, sometimes you just put them down. You just move away. And maybe yeah. you don't have that cigarette for another hour or right. something. An hour? Uh-oh. What does it mean an hour? Are you crazy? <laughs> have you ever gone like three hours without a cigarette? Oh, yeah. On the plane? Yeah, when we uh, force him. Well, I've gone obviously five hours without one. Right. I don't let him smoke sometimes. <laughs> just to see, if I, see what he looks like at the end of it. Well, we do remotes. I don't and the whole time you think of the cigarette, right? No. Yeah. Oh, come on. You remember when they first Winston. banned... <laughs> cigarette smoking on airplanes. I know, you went nuts. Ooh. He threw a fit. And Scott does this weird move. How dare they? <laughs> when we're at the airport and we're going on a road trip or something, he'll stand there and he smokes right up until the point he gives the woman the ticket. That's right. He's smoking right to the gate. Yeah, like, it's, like maybe if he just smokes <laughs> smokes his brains out, That's right. it'll last him through the plane ride. I start eating cigarettes without lighting them. And then he has a whole bunch of things he carries with him to, to gratify his oral fixation, yeah. the gum. and He has enough nicotine, nicotine, on his finger, nicotine on his fingers, just, he sucks on them for the plane ride. I bring a jar of tar Does to he? drink. <laughs> He's got, you see his fingers? They're yellow. Yeah, I know. Yeah. They yeah. last six hours. He stinks like a cigarette. All right, get out of here. Thank you. Both of you. It's been such a gratifying day. All right, thanks for coming in. I'm running late now here. Now he'll have a cigarette. Yeah, go have a cigarette. <laughs> will, you have, will you have a cigarette to calm down from this? Of course. Yeah. No doubt about it. <laughs> the camera's got to follow him. Yeah, but the camera's going to follow him to watch yeah, him smoke. Yeah, to watch him light up. Yeah, get that little camera. There we go. <laughs> and I want him to stay in there. If he tries not to smoke, stay in there until he has to. <laughs> The death rattle. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, All we right. Listen to his lungs. Can we magnify no. that somehow? <laughs> and, and Scott. put it on yes. the board. Yes, I can do that. Wonderful. Scott also hates whenever I mention, like, cancer, blowholes, tubes that he's going to be connected to. Mm-hmm. He goes crazy. Oh, you should see. Just now when you mentioned it, goes, his no. face dropped. He goes, you know, no. Everything was fine. Oh, and then, oh. No. <laughs> happened to be. Why do you get crazy over that? You, you know it's going to happen. Smoking? I know. You know what's going to happen to you, right? And you know, Scott, at the volume you smoke, (coughs) if you don't get sick, cancer is not caused by cigarettes. Plus, he looks like a guy who's susceptible to cancer anyway, even if he didn't smoke. Thanks. No, you do. I could tell. He's probably got it already. Oh, it's in there. Have you gone to a doctor? When's the last time you went to a doctor? Mm, Six months ago. And what do they do? They check your lungs and everything? And he says you don't have any cancer? No. Really? You sure? I'm fine. So far. What is your doctor? Is he a smoker too? No, he. <laughs> You're he's fine. A, he's he the president of Philip Morris. He me over the head. To stop. He says, My doctor keep, works keep for stopping, Philip Morris. Keep stopping, yeah. you Just stop. tell all the listeners to tune in next Wednesday or Thursday. That's when we'll be testing Scott's lungs yet again. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think, I, I think I'll. Uh, Aren't you sick that day? I think I'm off next week. <laughs> Our favorite part is watching Scott blow into that little tube and turn red and shake. Yeah, yeah. remember the last time he almost passed out. <laughs> what do I do again? I blow into this tube. <laughs> Can I smoke while I'm doing it? <laughs> and the guy says there is a cheerleader. Come on, Scott. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> and then the guy always turns to Scott at the end and he goes, Scott, the age of your lungs is 105 years old. You're and dead. Yeah. Scott goes, you're dead. 105? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> we light up and celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> How could that be? Last year they were 95. You mean I aged 10 years in a year? That's impossible. <laughs> How can my lungs be 105? You can't be that old. Something is wrong with your equipment. My lungs are dead. <laughs> my lungs are dead. They're decaying. <laughs> <laughs> but I want it rigged so we can hear how bad off his lungs are, you know, when yeah. he breathes in. <laughs> the wheezing yeah. and the noise. Do you get up every morning and like start coughing up stuff? No. He refuses. That's right. I refuse. You cough, though. When I you cough. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. First sound out of you. Do, you. do you light up a cigarette before you get out of bed? <laughs> no. But right in the bathroom when you're sitting no. on the bowl. No, no. <laughs> when no. is the first cigarette <laughs> smoked? Um, probably when I get in the car. First cigarette is the car? Mm-hmm. So how long does it take you to get your first cigarette in the morning? Like, does it take you 15 minutes to get to the car? Half hour. Half hour. But are you thinking about your first cigarette? No. Really? Then why do you light it? Because I'm not thinking about it. I mean, it's just a habit. That's, I got to think. If I yeah. thought about it, maybe I wouldn't light it. I have a habit. It's a habit. And so how long does it take you to get into the city? 
about twenty six minutes. Hours. <laughs> six yeah. hours. Six hours. Twenty I minutes. Keep smoking. Yeah. I'll wait so how many midnight. cigarettes? I drive you, around the round the block. So you have at least three cigarettes in the car? No way. I have Two. One. Only one. That's it. And it's three feet long. <laughs> Extra long. Because <laughs> there's cigarettes away. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I've heard enough about cigarettes. Thank you, Scott. Oh, you're welcome. All right. We're gonna take a break. You know, most people are addicted, but he's super addicted. Yeah. This is this is worse yeah. than any heroin addict. I've ever how many seen. packs you up to? You don't admit it. You don't care if you die. Of course I No, care. you don't. Your life isn't all that exciting. Oh, you're, you. you have to spin disco records when I'm not yelling at you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go back there to okay. your miserable life. Thank you. All right. Follow him. Watch him smoke. Okay. <laughs> go light up. All right, all right. All right. Want to see me light a cigarette? Yeah. <laughs> How can you walk out of there and light a cigarette after that? It's easy. I take it, I light it. And we have a great show for you this afternoon. Two until it's purposely because you're in here. I'm not going to light a cigarette. Boy, it stinks in here. You're a big help. Big help! <laughs> Where's that ashtray? Yeah, it's right there. Oh, that's not so bad. Nah, nah, nah. He's waiting for me. He's, see, he's waiting for me. He's waiting for me. Here, wait. Here, here it is. Here it is. See it? See it? <laughs> I'm not lighting it purposely. <laughs> Till that camera leaves. Adios. <laughs> Didn't you get enough? <laughs> Thanks, man. 